Welcome back to Wildwood Off Grid Alaska. We're back in Toke, and what do we got planned, Vaughn? Well, we're getting chickens again. Finally, yeah. it's coming. Spring's coming, so we ordered some chickens. So, a lot of people have asked us, what happened to the chicks? You built this chicken coop back here. If you guys haven't seen the video for the build of the chicken coop back here, go back and watch it. I'll I'll put a card or something. We'll tag it somewhere. Somehow. somewhere. But uh, <laughs> we had eleven chickens. Well, we ordered twelve. One passed. One died when it was a chick, and we had eleven chickens. We had them all raised up. They, they were, were laying eggs for us. Eggs we were like loving crazy. it. Well, when we decided to sell the big house, we moved and move into our duplex so that we could focus on coming over here. We didn't have the space for the chickens, or we didn't think we had the space for the chickens, so we ended up selling the chickens and moving the coop to Toke. So the, the coop's been sitting here for a year. Yeah. One summer, and we're like, we're done. We're fed up. We want chickens again. So we ordered 18 new chicks. Yeah, we have six of three we different types. We got three types. different breeds coming. Cold all weather heritage birds, breeds. All cold weather birds. Yeah, we got... We got um, Let's see, speckled Sussex, mm -hmm. silver laced wine dots, and what's the and, new one? Uh, no, ooh, I don't even know the why, the the lady at the place convinced us to get the third one. I don't remember what they are. I, I was thinking Australorps, but they're not. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I don't remember. Anyway, so we have 18 new checks coming, and uh, we got some work to do. Yeah, we have. I don't know if you can see the snow level back here. Of course, you've been probably watching our videos. We've been battling the snow all winter, but we are going to do a 10 by 20 run for the chickens. So we need to we shovel gotta, out. We, yeah, we got to clear all up. that snow around it. We have it's a going to be crazy. We have a few feet of snow. We got to shovel out because we want to. So basically, we're going to cut down a bunch of what we call what we call pecker poles or poles that are, you know, small little five inch poles or uh -huh. so. And we're gonna build uh, a frame that then we can put the chicken wire around. Yeah, we and... don't have the top for it yet, but we're gonna just do the outside. Yeah, so it's gonna be a 10 by 20 run, but we need to get the, the snow kind of cleared out and marked where we're gonna go. We need to cut down the trees that we're gonna use for the frame. Yeah. And then we're gonna screw all that together, put chicken wire on it, and, and get then... ourselves ready to get those chickens yeah, over here. Yeah, those chickens are supposed to be hatching um, next week, so. We got to grow them up a little bit till they're big enough to get in here, but we think it'll work out perfect timing because, you know, we're moving over here and the chickens should be at the right age to move into the coop yeah, with us. Yeah, it'll be perfect. <laughs> All right, let's get busy. So we need to empty out the chicken coop. The chicken coop has basically been used as storage. And so I'm going to go back over here open up the generator building and we're going to shift organize the generator building and bring everything out of the chicken coop over here into the generator building and uh it'll be a good thing i think so i've had people ask me about this door and about uh about how it was built so i needed to do a little rundown on it and i'll tell you uh, the inspiration for this door came from al at lumna acres i've built Three doors, the two for the chicken coop I built following kind of Al's instructions. And then um, this door here, I kind of did a different design, but the concept is the same. It's just basically layering boards, uh, gluing and screwing them together or in opposite orientations of each other to get the door strength. So you can see on the end there, there's three layers of boards and uh, they're all glued and screwed together. And it is a two inch thick door and it is heavy. And work up the sweat, babe. How are you doing? I said chicken coop looks good. Chicken wire. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to set it in here for now. Yeah, that's a good call. Keep it out of the snow. Yeah, it's starting to snow again, so. It's pretty deep. It, what do you mean? It's really deep. <laughs> A little bit at a time.
Oh, you've gotten pretty far. Uh, I guess. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. I've only gotten like four feet. Oh. <laughs> Good igloo building material. Holy cow, yeah. Build a cool snow fort with this block. <laughs> Probably as soon as he finishes, this giant eave will fall down. Look at that thing, it's huge. I'm uh, so there's our plastic roof. Oh, yeah, I'm, we need I, to get that out of here. I came across some metal on the other side, too. Oh, that's further over, it's some extra metal, yeah. roofing metal. Yeah, but this is the plastic roof we had covering the chicken coop before. Yeah, we'll use it again. We'll use it again. Worked right, great last time. Yeah, except now it has all kinds of holes in it. That's true. And we're not going to build the same kind of way, so. Hmm. But I think it'll work fine. I can probably silicone the holes. I don't know. There's got to be a way to. It's a chicken coop, right? Right. But we need to get a few more sheets of that to cover a bigger area. So Ryan's going to work his way down that 20 feet past the chicken coop. I'm going to try on the other side. But probably Ryan will have to help me. 20 feet past the chicken coop. Luckily, the trees. Yeah. It looks like there's. it's not as deep around the trees. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Slow going, but we're making progress. We're making progress. Oh, dear. Be careful. I, I, I don't want that to fall on you. No, it's not going to fall on me. Well, don't mess around but with it. But I know. This. I'm going a little bit wide because... I'm not, I don't, we originally were going to rake that snow off of there, but I'm not going to. I mean, the coop can handle that weight. Yeah, just let it melt. Just let it melt, because it's just, it's just going to make a mess where we shoveled. Yeah. I guarantee you when it starts melting, it's going to slide off. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, guess what? What? We got a little chicken wire right here. Oh, well, that's nice. Some dog kennels. Some dog kennels. Fell over. Whoa. Sure, you can walk around that way. I hear some birds. Springtime, baby. This thing looks dead. I hope it's not. If it is, we're gonna have to cut it down. Well, so it has leaves on the top, so I'm gonna say it's alive. Oh, okay. Baby, I feel like a kid playing in the snow. You look like a kid playing in the snow. Uh, want some help? I got it. Are you sure you got it? I got it, I got You're it. making a mess of my snow. Yeah. That's dark. Yeah. Woo! it. Good luck with that. <laughs> Coming over and playing. <laughs> so basically, from the tree out, probably I'm guessing it's going to come out okay. three, four feet. Gotcha. Are you sure? Don't make me. Don't make you what? <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Stop. Get out of here. Get out of here. <sighs> Turkey. Winter's not over by a long shot. Yeah. As much as we get excited because the weather warmed up, all that means is more snow.
How you doing over there? Me? What, little old me? I don't know, but I'm building my muscles up. I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Oh, yeah. Go for a turn off. End of the summer, I'm going to be totally fit. Let me guess, you're going to be buff? I'll be buff. I'll buff it up. Let me make sure my line is going straight. Well, it's hot out here when you're digging. Yeah. It's a good thing it's cold outside. Quitting time. We'll continue this tomorrow. Oh, that was a good dig out though. Yeah, this is a good dig out. We got four more inches of snow coming at us. We do? Yep. Well, that blows. That's what it's calling for, four more inches. But look, we got plowed out all the way around. We just gotta do out and around. And back. All right, here's everything we got done today. So you can see Vaughn shoveled out all of this. All the way into here, because this was only cleared to the doors. And then I shoveled the plastic here, all that out was on the ground. I shoveled all this out. And then uh, back around here. Day two of shoveling the snow, trying to make this chicken coop run. Last night we got more snow, probably about four inches. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's just started snowing again. So I better get some more shoveling done. Feels like I just shoveled this yesterday. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I'm finally back to where I left off yesterday. I think I'll take this jacket off though. It may look cold here, but snow shoveling is quite a workout. Time to go get a measuring tape, see how how far I've gone from the chicken coop. Okay. Got the shape measure. Gonna see how far I've gone. Oh. I'm already at 22 feet. Oh, we've cut I, through I was the tree. Say go to the tree yeah, and then right. over. Alright. Sweet! I thought it was looking pretty far. I was like. Yeah, that's far. Yeah. Here, you can have that. I'll keep it. Yeah, we gotta get the measure that side. I know. Alright. Time to start going that way. episode is called a woman and her shovel
That's it. Good. Round we went. Round we went. All right, now just get this center cleaned out and <laughs> yeah, we'll call it good. Nice work. Thanks. Good jobber. Yeah. Oh. Man, I'm so glad that side by side. I'm glad we brought that side by side. Yeah. Plowed out the road again. Holy cow! There's a. It snowed a ton last night. Yeah, it did, didn't it? It was insane. Oh yeah, 20 feet right there. Yeah. So we're way we're. Yeah, we're almost 24 feet. I went long. Cause you told me to. Good. That's what we wanted. We want to go long. Yeah. We'll cut eight. But that doesn't count the ones going across the top. You know what I mean? So we need eight uprights and then us, uh, you know, the span across the top, which that top is going to be, I think I'm going to make it angled like this, just like the roof. Oh, that's a good idea. That way, that way our door is going to be on that side. Yeah. That way we have a, it's high on the door side and we can keep it a little lower on this side. All right, we're going to head out here on the property and try and find some of the trees that we need. We're looking for probably, Oh, uh, I'm guessing five, six inch trees, maybe something along those lines. Just for posts, we're going to do the framing for the chicken run. So we'll see what we can find out here. Yeah. Go ahead. Age before beauty. <laughs> hey, don't call me a crouton. So we're looking back in this way over here. There's one right there. I think, yeah, there. That's one I could potentially take. Mm -hmm. And it's it's yeah okay. And then it looks like we could get something out of that one right there. That double? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of deep, even on the trail. Okay, I'm seeing some good trees right in here. There, right there. Yeah, I'm seeing one there. I'm seeing a lot of trees in here we could use. This area behind us. Oh, wait, so look, the generator shed is right there. So that's gonna be our solar generator. We move back over here. This stuff over here, we're gonna clear some of this so that we it's uninterrupted for our solar panels. Yeah. We're not exactly sure where we're gonna put the solar panels, but obviously it's gonna be somewhat close to the building because everything's gonna be wired into this building. Mm -hmm. So we don't wanna to get too far away. So this kind of needs to get cleared out anyway. So that's why we're looking at some of these trees. Yeah, it makes sense to pull trees from here if we're gonna clear this anyway. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I think that's a good one right there, right next to that tree. That's a nice long pecker pole. What do you mean? I would take this one right there. The big one? The double? Mm -hmm. This one right there on this side mm -hmm. is perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a lot of trees right in this section right here that we could talk to, take down. I think this is where we what need to cut them. that one right there, that little one? The size foot. I'm looking for is these bad boys right there. Oh, okay. Let's walk on for a little bit further. Let's walk on and then, yeah, I guess get the chainsaw out. Dog hey, <clears throat> I might kill you. Oh, here comes Otter. <laughs> Otter Pop! Otter Pop! Where you been, buddy? Been out causing Where's trouble? Kobach? Where's Kobach? Oh, he must be back there. Ah, uh, the poor sawmill. Oh, yeah, the sawmill. Buried in snow. Once upon a time, it was unburied. Buried in snow yet again. I don't even, I mean, we just unburied this stupid thing. <laughs> I got to get some milling done. Yeah, we have to, but, you know, we still have time. Otter is right on your tail. Literally. I just can't believe this was a packed down snow machine trail. And now it's up to your knees? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, this was packed down not that long ago. Yeah. I wouldn't want to step out there. <laughs> no. Because there ain't nothing packed out there. Nope. Man, it is beautiful. Holy crap. <laughs> I just, I want to snap my fingers and just have, oh, there's a cabin built. <laughs> This be done. That would be really cool. Hi, Otter Pop. But that, down in Southeast, that was what it was. Hi, bud. Are you having fun? Are you walking with your people? Old Otter Pop, he's getting old. He had his, he had his 10 year birthday on February 14th. So he's still getting her done, but he likes to lay around more than he used to. That's for sure. That is 
<laughs> yeah, I think we have all the trees we need up front there. Oh, here comes Kobach. Oh, really? Here he comes. Here comes Kobach. Oh, I didn't know. There goes water. Good boy, Kobach. Oh, he's plowing through. Good boy, Buck. Otter's going to help him. Come on, Bubs. Good boy. <laughs> Look at the chainsaw. That's the old still MS290. This chain, we've owned this chainsaw since I think 2009 when we lived in Petersburg, Alaska, and we have put this thing through hell and back again. I mean, it's been out in the ocean. It's been, <laughs> I mean, it's just been beat to tar, and you just saw it, people. This thing has not been started. When's that? I mean, I don't think it's been started all winter. Nope. And it's been sitting outside in the cold. It's been sitting outside in the cold here in Tote for three days in the back of my truck. Yeah. And it fired up, what, second, third pole? It's Amazing. Pretty, pretty sweet. Things a beast. I don't know what we're gonna do when we go to replace it. Damn garbage they make now. <laughs> Let's find some trees, baby. The big one, the one that we just said we're gonna get rid of? Yeah. Okay. Which way are you gonna lay it? Straight out this way. This way? Don't you think? Yeah. to start hatcheting these limbs. The ax is in the back of the truck. That's what I was saying. That ax is what I would use, but be damn careful. Oh, I'll just stop. Don't cut your leg off. That 
All right, I just I don't know if I explained what we're doing here very well. So you can see behind me here is the chicken coop, and then we dug out this all the way around here. You can see. So this whole thing here is is 20 feet out, 10 feet across. So I'm gonna frame that in to be able to roof this, and then the rest of it will be just an open run. And of course, we have a lot of predators here, so I'm gonna take and put the pole or put the fence posts, if you call them in, and then we'll fence it around and we're gonna leave a foot or a foot and a half or so uh, down along the ground that we can bury the, in the ground so the fox can't dig down because that's the big thing is fox here and then of course pine martin and ermine yeah so that's the plan i thought i'd just give you guys a scoop on what we're doing the door is going to go right here that's the big uh my plan is to put a door right here so we can access the run area and of course we'll put some stuff in there but that is what we're up to so i need to go cut some more logs <laughs> There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So my thought is I'm gonna hopefully bury these in the ground. Obviously can't do it while the ground's frozen, but I gotta get the tractor over here. I'm gonna bury these in the ground at certain intervals. I'm gonna tie them together at the top across this way, and I think I'm gonna tie them this way somehow. And then the top rails will give the It'll give support to whatever we decide to put on top to give us some protection from the aerial predators like the we have a lot of a lot of owls i mean it's amazing how big the owls are here but we have a lot of owls so that'll give us the protection from the owls the hawks and uh any other predators coming from the air and then we'll bury it down here like i said before we'll bury the fencing or the the uh chicken wire we'll bury that underground so the fox can't dig down and try to get up underneath the fencing so i don't know i'm winging it so we'll see how it turns out in the end <laughs> <laughs> 